What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. The movie I'm reviewing today is currently available for streaming on Stars. There will not be any spoilers in this video. Now before I do the review, I did want to address one thing because a couple days ago I did a review of Stand By Me, um, which is a great coming of age movie. But in the review I did get very emotional because on rewatch it brought up some emotion. Watching it as an adult made me brought up emotions and things that happened in my life since I've been a kid. So it, it, it hit home and I probably I did share a lot of myself. Now one of my longtime subscribers who always leaves very thoughtful comments, uh, Grace, she said, you know, this is a good review. You did the movie Justice, but I feel like the general public doesn't deserve to see this side of you. And I thought about that and I was like, uh, I think I think she was right because I did share. I don't I don't mind getting personal and sharing some stories with y'all about my life, but I did get a little bit. I probably did go a little bit too far. So if you saw the video, cool. If not, I'm sorry. Um, so I did decide to take it down on that because, you know, on the Internet, things can get, you know, taken out of context. And you don't want things taken the wrong way without knowing the full backstory or something. You know, things can get lost in translation, which is the name of the movie I am reviewing today, which is directed by Sofia Coppola and stars Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. It takes place in early 2000s Tokyo, Japan, and is the story of two people about 25 years or so apart meeting each other at the perfect times in their lives. Now these are two Americans, so just so you know, it the uh, movie does is primarily English but does have some Japanese in there being it does take place in Tokyo. However, I, I digress. So the, it's about two people who meet each other at the exact perfect time in their lives when they both need each other. Now I do want to talk about that briefly because that is important and now and just in life as well because you know, it's rare in life that you run into somebody that literally is a kindred spirit and is somebody that like gets you. Like, and usually how it happens for me is I don't go out at the party, but back in the day in my 20s, I party more. And even now I might go to a social gathering, family, birthday party, whatever, where there's more people than usual. And somebody will be talking about something that's serious or they're being dramatic about their life and I'll laugh. This is what happened back in the day all the time, but like when parties when I was in my 20s. Somebody would be like, oh my God, being dramatic. And then I would laugh. Now, usually it would just be me by myself and people look at me and I feel embarrassed. But once in a while, there'd be a, a kindred spirit across the room and we would share that moment together. Now, and that would be it. It would just be like, we, we, we just like, yeah, that was funny. We got some more sense of humor. And that's it. Now, in real life, that happening and it going further than that is rare. And you seeing something in that person and you see that you can be there for each other at the right time. You, you, there's something you can build upon. So that's what this movie's about. It's about two people who are in different places in their life, but they're meeting each other at the exact perfect time. And it's important in life. It's, it's about one thing that's underlying in this movie is about staying in the moment. Being here and not be where you could miss something like that. So both of our characters, played by Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson respectively, are staying at a fancy hotel in Tokyo, Japan. They're there for two different reasons. Now, uh, Bill Murray is playing an accomplished actor. He's not playing himself. It is, it's a fictional character. But it is somebody who, like Bill Murray, has made a lot of movies. He's famous. He's got all that going. His name is Bob Harris. And, you know, he's done all the movies, got all the money, he's got all the fame. He's just in Tokyo just recording like whiskey commercials. Now why is he doing this? He that has the money. But we learn that he's very kind of bored with his life. He's kind of bored with his marriage and he's looking for an escape to probably take a vacation from his marriage and just going here to do some quick commercials for quick money is an easy excuse. He'd rather be doing like plays or something more creative. And I've always wondered about this with accomplished artists does it get bored when you just have done everything? Like musicians who play the same songs every night, that type of thing. So he's staying at this hotel. Charlotte, who is played by Scarlett Johansson, is also staying at this same hotel. Now she's there um, because her new husband, who's played by Giovanni Ribisi, is a photographer. He's got a job in Tokyo. She, she just went along for the ride because it's her new husband. It's exciting. She's in Japan and she has friends there. So that's why she's there as well. But we get the vibe from her that you know, she's someone who just got married. Bob had been married. So 
We get the vibe from her, is she regretting being married? Did she make the right decision? And she's a very smart person, she's educated, but she doesn't really have a career. She feels very lost in life. And she goes to different temples within Japan to kind of find her way. Now, thankfully, her and Bob run into each other. Bob's a recognizable face. She comes over to him and a similar thing happens then, which was this is which is why I brought up what I brought up earlier in the video of you just seeing somebody from across the room because they're at like the uh, bar or the dining area, I guess, or whatever at the hotel. And he can see that Charlotte is bored and she's with a bunch of, you know, dull people who don't really have anything to say. And Bill Murray sit up and they kind of just recognize each other. And there's little moments and then eventually they decide to talk to each other and that's where the magic happens. I think they both kind of sensed, you know, we're both here, we're both kind of like lost, but, and we're, we're in this weird place. We're both Americans, we're, we're in a weird place and they recognize each other and they both have something to give to each other. Now, it, you know, sometimes in life, this is a, when you meet that kindred spirit, it's a romantic thing, sometimes it's a friendship. In this case, it's just a, perfect time for these it's just like a time like a life counselor almost that you met just in the passing by so bill murray basically shares his life experience of being a person in creativity encourage her to pursue her creativity and stick to that and he also gives her um and from what his thoughts are on marriage and most importantly i think he just give it because at the end it said what, what does he say to her i think he says something to her about being honest with her husband i don't know that but He's just sharing with her his experience in being married and she needs that. She needs to hear that to know where what decisions she needs to make. Is this, some, is this something she wants to do? And she has friends that are living in Japan and she goes out and part, goes to a couple parties, gatherings with these friends and her and Bill Murray get to experience this and experience Tokyo. And Bill Murray gets to go to party. He gets to feel young again. He gets to feel exciting again. Now him and Charlotte have no sexual tension there's nothing like that there they're literally just like almost best pals like a best friend that you met at camp almost that type of thing but it's more adult obviously and they get to go to these parties they, and they just experience tokyo and they share their lives with each other it's such a beautiful uh story i i love it it's one of my favorite movies from uh sofia coppola she's one of our great uh, modern filmmakers. Um, she did a movie called *The Virgin Suicide*, which is one of my favorites. Uh, *Bling Ring*, but she, which this is, this might be her probably most famous movie. But she shows off Tokyo so beautifully. I bet people that the uh, Tokyo whoever does tourism there was grateful when this movie got made, and actually encouraged it because it probably sold some tickets because she makes it look absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful experience. And not to say that it isn't, but I doubt you could duplicate the experience. Um, in this movie, it, 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 like I said, Tokyo is like, just like when I reviewed City of God yesterday, it's a perfect character in this movie. And Bill Murray is amazing in this. I believe he got nominated, didn't win the Oscar. He lost it to Sean Penn, who was playing a more sympathetic role. That's how the Oscars always go, right? Whoever's playing the more sympathetic role, you know, who wins. But Scarlett Johansson's great. Giovanni Ribisi is great as kind of the aloof artist. Um, Anna Faris is in there as kind of just like this young uh, actress who's doing Japanese action movies. She has a little nice little side character, but it's just a beautiful story. And oh, I, I don't want I don't want to miss this because I did kind of miss this with Stand by Me. There's so many little funny moments because in Japan there's this obviously this cultural and language divide, and when they're going around the city and it's just, it's just funny with a lot of those little moments. And it's all natural, it's all organic, and it's all, it's just, it's just perfectly done. But at the core, it's just a movie about two people meeting each other at the right time in their lives. And it's important to be able to seize that moment and see it. Because in life we can be, we can be hasty and not catch the moment. And if one of these people was being too cynical or um, just rushing the judgment, they might not, know what's going on and miss that perfect moment. Thankfully, these two characters, they run into each other at the perfect times in their lives. They see each other at the perfect time in their lives. And it is a uh, beautiful thing. It's a great movie. It is, again, it's available for streaming on Stars. If you like Bill Murray um, and you've only seen his comedy stuff like Ghostbusters, Caddyshack, Scrooge, you know, all that stuff, 
I would absolutely recommend this. You see him in a different light. And I really liked it because I grew up on Ghostbusters and all that stuff. So when I got to see him like this, it was so cool because at first I was like, I don't even know if I want to watch this. Bill Murray is being serious. But it works perfectly. And Adam Sandler as well, but I digress. But another good one with Bill Murray, if you like this one, would be Broke, a movie called Broken Flowers, directed by Jim Jarmusch. Uh, another very good movie. And yeah, everybody's great. It looks beautiful. Absolute recommend. Thank you guys for uh, joining me today. I greatly, greatly appreciate your time. Y'all take care, be well, and have a great rest of your day.